Hi, my name's Armstrong. Welcome to the back office teardown lab. I've got an object here. You might notice uh, from my tweets that I was recently loaned a laser cutting machine, which I then promptly blew up. And I'll probably do another video about that. However, fortuitously, I kind of preempted this machine would need some work in that department. So I'd already ordered this and I think this cost me about £15 or £13 and again there's a very um, dense product description here, it's almost unreadable because there's no paragraphs or anything in there. But basically it's a CNC shield plus Uno R3 board plus four stepper motor drivers for an engraver 3D printer. And this is a standard sort of kit you might get if you were gonna build one of those T8. If you look at my previous video uh, on the T8, um, T8 engraver, and if I haven't got a link below, please force me, say so put a friggin' link below. Um, and that used uh, their own board, basically, that was emulating this, it was a clone. Um, so what I'm gonna do, you see, is use this to modify that laser cutter and then it will all use the same software that I'm used to for the T8 so it's all good so this is basically a, a, a gerbil GRBL I don't know how it's pronounced gerbil gerbil plurbil um, board and that firmware if you look on the internet it's basically a whole CNC operating firmware for an Arduino chip which is an 80 mega that's why you see these uh, kits that you get have their own board. Basically what they've done is they've just taken the 80 mega and the, the few periphery chips that they need to drive these. And these are the actual stepper motor drivers. And we'll just chop, chop, chop. Let's have a little look-see at that. And there they are, quite dinky little things really. And they're quite handily made in this sort of uh, dual inline package so that you can just slide it straight in. Let's, let's have a little little zoom in. So you could see that's the, um, I think they call them shields or such, some such. I think they're called an Arduino shield and the idea is you have your Arduino Uno and you'll just plug it in here. So that's your chunk, your personality module or shield, whatever you want to call it. And then onto that, yeah, you simply plug these modules in and I don't know which way round they go. Uh, you'll have to look at some pictures, but see on the back actually, there's some additional information here on the module. So you've got uh, direction, step, sleep, reset, uh, something uh, being obscured by those wires, MS3, MS2, MS1, some pin enable, ground, um, power, various power things and then your four stepper lines so it's all it's all uh, the standardy type stuff and I think this is actually a sort of current adjust so you can give it a little bit more boost if you need to so the idea is and again don't do it the way I do it because I might be putting them in wrong is that you just load these all up so this this board though for a laser cutter you don't really need um, well to be honest I don't think you uh, even need more than two because you just want two and a switch and that's going to be interesting because, of course, uh, a laser cutter is going to need... I, I read somewhere that it's sort of a weird inverse logic. I can't remember if it's a pull down or a pull up to uh, turn the laser on, but it's the wrong way. So I might have to do a little bit of building there. Reset switch is, is always handy, and it's interesting because it sort of obscures the reset switch on the board. I've used that a few times in anger on the engraver. Um, and then here are your actual connections, I think, for your stepper motors. So that's probably your several channels there so look one two three four who knows end stops i'm gonna have to figure this out when i actually just do the machine anyway so you can actually upgrade the firmware on this using standard tools they're all easily available and that's it so if you want to build your own cnc machine you're going to need a kit like that and uh, yeah just crack on really and you've got some little heat sinks that's cute and i'm going to work out what i'm going to do with these i probably Rather than keep them in the bags, I'm probably just going to populate them into the board even though they're not used. And the reason being, they won't get lost that way. And then if my T8 machine needs a replacement, I know where to grab it from. So I hope that's from use to you. I'm going to try to remember to put a link in the description. And if I forget, you can remind me. Um, please comment down below. And as ever, thanks for watching.